Good evening, everyone. Just got back from seeing uh, Fright Night with Colin Farrell, the Australian fellow. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's a good movie. Uh, it's more modernized, of course. It's all set up for like Las Vegas and this little town outside Las Vegas. Everything's all little towns out there are set in like little cubes and uh, all the houses next to each other. And uh, there's the pretty girls. I mean, his, his, the girl he wants to be his girlfriend is uh, pretty and blonde and all that. And his dweeby friend from when he was a nerd the year before uh, is the first one taken by Colin Farrell. Well, not really. It was you see one other before that, but they don't show up until later on in the film. But uh, it sticks to the rules. There's no, uh, you know, it, there, it's in fact, it sticks to the rules more than, much more than any other vampire movie I've seen in a good while. So and and I didn't see it in 3D, but I'm sure if you watch it in 3D, I'm sure a lot of the blood splattering and the stakes going through chests that towards the screen is, you know, even more enjoyable for the people who like that kind of thing, unless it's seven camera done properly, like Avatar. I don't like uh, 3D. Just don't, I don't like wearing the glasses. Uh, I don't like if you're not seated in the center of the uh, theater that it, it's not right. Well, anyway, that's here or there. Uh, it's called Fright Night. You'll recognize a lot of the characters that I can't bring to mind. And I've waited to see the, which Australian. And it seems if you're not Australian or Canadian, you're not an actor anymore. <laughs> We don't even make act. Not only do we not make anything else, but we don't make any actors either. Well, I'll thank you all for your participation, and I'll catch you back on it too. Uh, what is it, Friday? Have a lovely weekend coming up. I'll see you Sunday or Monday for True Blood Night Night.